how to preview your 1040 tax return in TurboTax before you even pay the fee. This is interesting. So if you like what you see here about TurboTax and other tax related stuff, don't forget to subscribe down below, smash the like button and share this video with others. And of course, comments are always welcome as well. So let's dive right into this. This is actually pretty simple. I had a friend, a friend of one of my guys on YouTube, uh, one of on my channels told me how to do this. As a matter of fact, and I figured I'd share with you guys. So I, I log back into TurboTax, take me to my return. I'm wondering, I'd say, huh, I wonder, let's just go to tax home. I'm wondering, what does this look like actually? Because the new 2018 numbers are out and uh, oops, take me to my return. Hold on just a second. There we go. Take me to my return. And so I'm going to go over here to preview my 1040. Look at that, 2018 taxes, preview my 1040. We click on that guy and it's literally just right here. It's awesome, actually. And you click on preview my 1040. And what's happening is it's thinking about it. Remember the new tax numbers are out. Now the new tax forms are out, so this is different. So here's your worksheet, which I don't really have anything in the worksheet, but here's the first page, the new 1040, all right? So you got, oops, I'm sorry. You got uh, the first page is who? Me, Joe Schmo, my social, uh, Jane Schmo, her social. Those aren't real social security numbers, my friends. Uh, where we live in Alfreda, Georgia. Uh, we got a uh, foreign address. Nope, personal info, just she and I. Uh, we got kid one, kid two, daughter and son. They're both under the age of 17, so they qualify for the tax credit. And that's your, that's your schedule one right there. That's your page one right there. My name, her name. Social Security, dates of birth, and kids. And then if you've got a foreign address or anything like that, that's it. So now we go to page two, and these are wages. Got $50,000 of wages, $50,000 of IRA distributions, because in this case, I took out an IRA distribution. It's taxable. So our total income is 100000 bucks. Our AGI is $100,000 once, or not, that's when well, they're using, yeah, I mean, that's right. Our total income is $100,000. Our AGI is $100,000, uh, which include, which uh, adjust, if you have no adjustments to income, enter the amount from line six, which is that adjustments to income are called above the line deductions, by the way. And because we don't have any uh, exempt, or I should say itemized deductions, we're just going to go down here and look at our standard deduction, which is right there, line eight. $24,000 because the she and I is our standard deduction and $76,000 is our taxable income. 76,000 bucks. And they're going to give us those various worksheets that we need to do. So our taxes is our taxes $8,742. And if I have my trusty calculator, which I do not, I'd imagine, um, here, let me pause, let me pause. I'll get my calculator. Hold on just. All right. So let's take a look at our tax. So we got $76,000 is our taxable income. Roughly the first 20,000 is taxed at 10%. So the first 20,000 tax at 10% is going to be 2,000 bucks. Then the next uh, 20,000, $76,000 minus 20,000. The next $56,000 will be taxed at 12%. And that's going to be 6,720. Look at that. Almost, yeah, there you go. Plus 20,000 bucks or $2,000, 8,700 bucks, almost to the penny, actually, without even thinking about it. And so there you go. There's your taxes right there due. Now we're going to go down and see what kind of credits we get. Well, we get child tax credits. We get $4,000 because we have two kids under the age of 17. So that a credit, remember, is a dollar for dollar reduction in taxes due. So we get $4,000 of tax credit immediately, immediately. That's going to reduce our $8,742 tax due uh, by 4000 bucks. And so now that is our taxable amount right there, 4742 and then we're going to have, uh, we had $1,500 withheld already in wages. And so we got 4742 minus 1500 bucks, And that's going to give us right around this amount right here, 3316, uh, when our federal taxes do, because we had to pay a penalty as well of $74 because we did not file uh, quarterly. So we had to pay a penalty of, 70, of 74 bucks. So our total tax bill is 3242 plus $74 penalty. That's 3316 Pretty simple, man, uh, without question. Now, it'd be interesting, though. Let's go back. And you can go down here, too. If you go to tax tools, right, you go to tax tools, and you go to tools. Ta and again, this is a guy on my YouTube channel told me this. So it was pretty cool. And you can see uh, what view tax summary right here was similar to this. I like the, the preview better, but total income, 100,000, itemizer standard deduction, 24,000, 
Total tax or taxable income, 76,000. Tentative tax, 8,742. Uh, total credits, 4,000 bucks because my little uh, kids here, uh, we've already paid $1,500. We have a $74 estimated tax penalty, so we owe 3,316. That's just for the feds. Uh, that's pretty cool, absolutely. So I'm just curious, what happens if we go home and I want to change something around on that uh, $50,000 IRA distribution to see what it looks like? Oh, man. Man, all right, let's see. Oh, let's, uh, duh, duh, duh. let's go back right here. All right, there we go. And let's go to uh, welcome back. Man, if I only pick up where I left off. So remember, my name's Joe Schmo in this case. So we're going to go to income here. Let's go to federal. And we're going to go to yeah, wages and income. And we're going to go right to IRA. So what we're going to do is going to change this around a little bit from that because I took $50,000 out of an IRA and I'm not 59 and a half. So let's see when we now what I did. I think I did it here as uh, inherited IRA, because if it's inherited IRA, you don't pay any uh, you don't pay any 10 percent penalty. So got to pay income tax on, but you don't pay a 10 percent penalty. Now, because I'm under 59 and a half, I want to change around from. Uh, IRA, uh, inherited IRA to regular IRA to see what the penalty looks like if we go back to the preview, if that makes sense. So if we can get this thing to work, we'll show what I'm talking about here. All right. So we'll just pause it for a second and come back when it's picked up. All right. So here we go. So let's click on this USAA uh, 10, four, uh, 1099 that I did. Uh, this is a, tell us who received the 1099. Remember, 1099R is a distribution from an IRA. All right, so what we did here is we have $50,000 of a gross distribution, and we had it select codes as death because death is one of the exceptions to the rules for tax returns, all right, so or for our early penalties on IRA, 401k distributions. So we're going to say no exception, and we're going to say early distribution with, it, with no penalty. So watch what happens here. You ready? Watch this number up here, 3316. Crack out. Watch. It's going to get changed big time. It's going to be paid. Look at that. Look at that, eighty-four thirty-five. Woo, woo, that's painful. All right, so let's go to let's go to tax tools. I go to tools here, and we're gonna go to view tax summary and see what we're looking at here. All right, and so here we got a hundred thousand dollars, twenty-four thousand dollars of standard deduction. Our initial tax is eighty-seven forty-two. We got four thousand dollars in credits. We get five thousand dollars in other taxes. You know what that is? That's the ten percent penalty uh, because I'm not fifty nine and a half. And so that right there, just add to it. So you get eighty seven forty two, subtract four thousand, add that five thousand back. Our total taxes are ninety seven forty two. We've already paid fifteen hundred dollars in tax, but now we got an estimated tax penalty of one hundred ninety three because we didn't hold quarterly taxes. And so our balance due is eight four three five. Now, if we want to go to preview ten forty. Watch this, and it'll show you. I mean, it's, it's it is what it is. Like it or hate it, it doesn't matter. You're gonna see it. So we're gonna go to here. All right. All right. So now again, the first sheet. We're not gonna. We're gonna skip over this first sheet because it doesn't matter. We're gonna go back down the second uh, page. Fifty thousand dollars of wages. Fifty thousand dollars of IRA distributions. Hundred thousand dollars of total income. $100,000 is our AGI. We got $24,000 of standard deduction. $76,000 is our taxable income. But we got $8,742 as our taxes, as we already talked about. But, but keep going down. There's that $5,000 line 14 for other taxes. And that's that 10% penalty that we talked about before. And so that's not good. All right, let's keep going, though. Let's go back to uh, back. I want to show you what happens where you put a if we're going to go back and we're going to show you what happens if you have a Schedule C income, and we're going to go here to not, I'm going to say, no, we're going to keep burning through here. I mean, it literally doesn't matter. So actually, let's just stop there. We'll come back and do another one for Schedule C, uh, not Schedule C income, 1099 uh, for uh, gains and losses on stocks. All right. So we'll show you what that looks like. So we'll stop here. Uh, this one right here is just to show you what the review your 1040 looks like. You can kind of go around and change with your IRA distributions. Again, man, if you don't have that exception to the 10 percent penalty, it can be painful. There's no getting around that. So as always, if you like what you see, subscribe down below, thumbs up, comment, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.